What's up guys, back in the shed today. I spent most of the morning just cleaning up and I know I haven't put out any videos in a while, but um, life's just been a little bit hectic with work and family and stuff. We're we'll back out today and there's um, been a few really cool things happen. If you got a keen eye, you'll see behind me, the gearbox is out. Now it's not broken. Um, the reason I pulled it out is because between the last video and now, the car has been tuned. Um, went over to Disco and uh, he chucked it on his dyno. He did a whole heap of work to it actually, but he chucked it on the dyno and it made awesome power. It made 350 kilowatts on 25 PSI. He's hooked it up to this system that I asked him to do, which is it's on a switch. So I have three different boost levels. I think it's like 12 PSI, 17, and then 22. We ended up dropping it down to 22 PSI. And uh, it is stupid fast. It's flex fuel, so I can go on 85 or 98. <laughs> And the reason why I pulled the gearbox out is because I talked to a few JZX people and um, and 1J people and basically I just don't think that that gearbox uh, is going to be able to handle the power and abuse that I'm going to be throwing at it. So I'm doing a T56 conversion, I've ordered the whole kit, uh, twin plate, bell housing adapter, just like literally ticked all the boxes, bleed lines, feed lines. Wheelwood Master Cylinder. I just want to get everything from the same company and uh, and and just have it a bolt-in system. So this will be for sale. Basically a full manual um, setup. Got tail shaft, mass cylinder, all that jazz. Um, if you've got an extra key now, you'll see that behind me, new wheels. So we got some Meisters. Uh, I know I sold my Meisters, but I bought some black ones off one of my friends, Ryan Cooper. He wanted to change it up. I wanted um, Meisters basically again, but I didn't like the color of the other ones on this car. Obviously they are the sickest color, but I didn't like them on this car. I've still got the, um, the XXs and they kind of are just a little bit too big for this car, um, especially on the front. It, they might be all right when I put the longer LCAs in, but I've got heaps of goodies um to go on the car let me show you what we've got these are uh some of the goodies mostly rear uh, i've nearly got the whole rear end adjustable and front so longer lcas longer tire rods gs300 tire rod ends to give more clearance you know all that stuff so basically that should mean decent amount of lock i got um Euras rack spaces. I bought these from Japan. Twin caliper setup. I won't go with them just yet. I'll see how the handbrake goes first, but could go with that. Um, a dampening uh, brace thing. These are the knuckles that I'm going to go with. I'm going to try these. If they're not um, as good as I hoped, I'll just go, hey man, but I want to give them a crack. Still haven't put my digital dash in yet. Um, down there's the body kit that I'm going to make a lip kit out of canards there's a whole bunch of different stuff under there to go on it but yeah i've got heaps of goodies um to go on the car bride rail the seats over there show everyone what coilovers i went with it's pretty dark in here so you might not be able to see them too well but here they are mcas so these are custom built for to suit my uh I suppose needs. I was going to go with BC, but David Disco gave me some great advice on going MCA. So I'm really keen to try these. These are the red series, they should be awesome. But the car is slowly coming together and I'm really, really excited to get the T56 in here and be able to really thrash on it. I'm hoping when I get the T56 that I'm going to be able, I'm gonna see if this will fit on it. Now, this is a Ford T56. Um, so I know they're obviously different manufacturer, but I'm just crossing my fingers that that might fit on it. If it does fit, man, that would be 
So cool. But anyway. Back out in the shed today, guys, doing some fab work. So uh, first thing on the cards today is I just want to get this engine um, dampener fitted. And the only problem with it is, it's not designed to have a big high mount turbo on it. So as you can see, it's hitting there and, and it's not uh, getting down low enough to get on there. So all I'm going to do is I've made a little, a little bracket. And I'm just gonna weld that on underneath there, flip it around sideways, just to get a little bit of clearance under there and it should be right. So that's the first job on the cards today. And then I'm gonna start installing the front end stuff. Uh, I put yesterday one of the, uh, the coilovers in, the MCA Red, I put it in. I thought, oh, I might as well just do it all in one go, but I just wanna get this done because I'm waiting for the guy to come pick up all of that. So I'll just do this first. do the trick nicely give it a bit of a hit with some paint clean up some of this crap on it and chuck her on well the gearbox is gone money even though that's all spent on the t56 conversion which costs a lot more <laughs> than that but uh paint up the bracket she's going on and uh i will start putting some of this stuff on Although I gotta go, so I don't know if I will get much done today, but I, if I don't, I'll pick this video up another day. She's all out now, nothing in there. So now I've gotta make sense of Hopefully getting all the bolts back in and some new parts. So the front right's all apart. As you can see, the length and LCAs are heaps longer, which is what I'm after. I'll show you how the knuckles work with these adapters in a minute, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm just gonna make the caster rods the same length as the standard ones. The standard one had um, offset spaces in them, offset bushes, I mean, which is good. Uh, but I still wanna use these. I can't um, adjust them because I don't have a, a um, spanner or a shifter big enough to um, get them undone. So I'm going to go for a drive to Bunnings or Super Cheap to get a bigger shifter so I can work on them. I'm just going to do one side today, I think, and then call it at that. So off to Bunnings, I think I'll try, and then I'm back to put it together. Well, Bunnings for the win. Went to Super Cheap, didn't have what I want. Bunnings though. Got some big dogs. <laughs> so that should be right. <clears throat> I need to get a bigger toolbox so I'm starting to fill this bad boy up. Uh, yeah. The other knuckle works is pretty simple. Um, you basically have to chop it off here on the standard knuckle. And then these little locating tabs locate down into these holes. Like, I mean, you can see how that one goes in there. I get the angles on the wood angles right, that one goes down in there. So obviously these two go in there. And uh, once you cut that off, you swing that down and these are your new pickup points. So it gives you like a, like a drop spacer or whatever you call them things and it also changes your pickup points to give you more lock. So I'm gonna cut the knuckle and I can bolt it all together basically. So the right side's all together and I'm impressed at how much extra lock you get. So that's the side that hasn't been done. That's full lock. Can't pull it over anymore. And this side is the side that has been done. So let's pull it right around. That is how much lock you can get. So it is heaps more. Stoked with that, obviously it's off the ground so you don't normally get that much, but 
That is a lot more. Nice. Uh, just wrapping up the video, it's um, the next day, and I realized that there's a bit of this, but I didn't actually mention it. Well, there's two S14s behind me. This one here is the size. Um, my brother-in-law, good mate, that has the K70, but this one I uh, I bought. So it's got um, currently S15 front end on it. The only reason why I bought that stuff, actually, you don't need to know about that yet. We'll talk about this car later, but I have an S14, some plans, don't know if they'll come through, but for now, that's the, uh, that's the, the goal to get finished. Um, like always guys, like and subscribe. Um, I know I'm a bit lazy putting out um, videos, but I'm trying my best and I've still got heaps of stuff to do. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.